Let's get wacky. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create these two effects. You can download these two demo effects project by searching funny face live demo on our website learning resources. Tip one, you can use this distortion template we provided. This distortion template is a pretty handy template we provide you that you can make a really funny face, customized face. Um, what you can do, you can simply click on the 3D face here and go to inspector panel, check the deformation component, and just simply adjust the value here. You can see your facial features change intermittently. Uh, a lot of options we provided, you can change the eye position, in and out, up and down, and nose as well. You can make it grow. It's all in 3D. And also change left and right, up and down. Pretty funny, right? And another useful tip is you can animate all this value in real time by click on this little dot here and click set face grow to the visual scripting. And after adding it to the visual scripting graph, you can set up the value in real time by any of the trigger you set. So let's say we can just say hand detection. When you see, when the camera see there is a hand in the scene, it will simply change the value to the value you set it up. You can also change the value dynamically by setting transit by time. Um, you can check out more about how to use it, this template on our website as well. Now I want to introduce a few really handy features that you can simply add it to the scene and adjust the value to make a funny face. The first one is face stretch. So after you add face stretch to the scene, you will see the scene panel become 2D. And it has a lot of mesh dots that you can manipulate. So you can simply drag it to whatever the position you want and create a really funny face. Um, you can also adjust the intensity as you want and whether you want it symmetric or not. Another handy feature you can utilize is face liquify. So first liquify uh, is basically enlarge one area of your face and you can simply adjust the size of it in the 2D panel, uh, scale it down or up and move it to a position you want. And you can also click on command D to duplicate it. If you are using Windows, you can click on Ctrl D um, and move it to the position you want. Similarly, you can apply the face liquify to your lip and it to create um, thicker lips, whatever you want. You can also adjust the radiance, intensity, and liquify area as you want. Okay, in addition to those features, um, let's say if you still feel uncomfortable to show all your face areas in front of the camera, you can apply face masks to the entire face. Um, now we are using the default texture and I also provide you our texture you can download from our website, um, import it, and after you import the face mask texture, you can simply drag it to the texture. And now you apply this funny mod mask uh, texture to your face. Um, similarly, 
you can also add a face mask and then change the face region to lips and it will give you a red lips as you want. You can also change the color by enable opacity and then change color to whatever the color you want. Let's make it purple. Okay, let's get wacky, play around with it and have fun. Thank you for watching.